Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Drake with the RPG Construct. So uh, last week I did a Harbinger playtest. The uh, Harbinger is the uh, new um, science fiction fantasy uh, supplement that is currently in the playtesting stages uh, from Absolute Tabletop. Um, so a lot of us have been lucky enough to try to uh, test it out and help them. Um, and I utilized uh, Reaper in this game as far as uh, live voice manipulation. I'm not great at doing voices and stuff like that, but uh, Reaper really helps that if you know how to use it. So one thing I did in this game was I did like a female uh, artificial intelligence computer type voice. Um, they named her Honey, which was H-O-N-I, stood for Heuristic Onboard Neural Intelligence. Basically, she's a person. Um, whole long story with that, but we'll just go with that. So the thing about it was, um, with my voice, which is a little bit low, how to make it higher and sound kind of robotic. I've checked on YouTube. Usually I can find what I need on there, but there was really nothing for this kind of robotic thing. So what I want to do is just do a quick kind of tutorial and put it in the tech group. And I'll probably post it to my YouTube channel with what I did in case you guys need that type of a thing because it was kind of trial and error for me for a while so I'm gonna screen share here okay so well, first I gotta get this one off so on Reaper you're gonna go to FX here you're gonna um, gonna add uh, an FX so you're gonna go to VST and you're gonna go to the equalizer which is real EQ you click yes um, on this one you can see in this yellow line there's stuff on the bottom end and there's stuff on the high end. You need to kind of make, to make it sound robotic, you need to take the outside interference, the high and the low out. So you're going to take one, you're going to do high pass, and you're going to pull this all the way over here. And again, it varies uh, for what you want to do. But that's a good spot for it. Then if you go to four here, you're going to do a low pass. And you're going to move this over, let's say, here. So what you can see from here, the only things that are going to be audible are what is in here. We've blocked out everything else. So kind of the, the noise behind you, the high pitches, the low pitches, that's all going to be taken care of. So I'm sure you can hear that in my voice now. All right. So next, we are going to... Um, we're going to, as I said, with the, the pitch of the voice, um, I, I had to do something with it. So you go to VST, REA pitch, and the first thing I did was raised it up. And I'm going to just kind of show you what I did as we go, um, and I'm going to leave it on for just a minute. I know that sounds kind of odd. <laughs> So I put this up by about 6.5 in this shift full range, 6.5 semitones, okay? The other thing you have to do is I wanted it to be kind of a reverberating, kind of echoey voice. So um, when you go into pitch, you just switch this to simple windowed, it's easy. And this parameter, it gives you a bit of a delay and a bit of a fade. So um, I actually did two of these. And um, I used 30 millisecond window and a 10 millisecond fade. So that was this one. That was uh, just to, and if I attach it. It's a little bit weird like that. Um, and if you put them both together, that's kind of how it sounds. So I'm going to take this off and do the next one. So again, we're going to add the pitch again, um, which is right here. And this time, we're actually going to go down um, by 4.75. Now, the thing about this is, um, hold on one second here. We'll go back to simple window. With two of these, and when we're doing the parameters here differently, so one of them is going to be higher pitched. The other one is going to be lower pitched. And they're going to, there's going to be a delay in... Um, both of those. So it's not going to be too far, like like an echo, but you're going to get that kind of um, low rumble and then the high. It's um, let, me, let me just show you here. If we put them both on, it sounds something like this. 
And if you add everything, that's about how it sounds. So with those going on like that, it works really well. And finally, I wanted it to sound kind of echoey. Um, and in there, there's a VST REA verbate, which is basically just, just like a vibrato or an echo. And I'm putting this down just the smallest room size, which is 30. It's just a little bit of echo. It isn't anything like that. So, so with my regular voice, voice, it's something like this. this. No big deal. But if you put them all together, this is what you hear. There is a serious difference. And this is what the AI's voice was. So again, this is my normal voice. If I said, said something like scanning DNA found, that sounds silly, even if I just, you know, normal stuff. But if I activate all these. Scanning DNA found. See what I'm saying? So again, guys, um, just wanted to kind of put that out there and let you guys uh, kind of see what I was doing. And um, it's a whole lot of trial and error. Reaper, you can try out for free for 60 days. It's actually really cool. Um, and I'm learning. Shout out to Jeff Dottie for introducing me to this. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I hope it works. If you like it, um, so subscribe to, to the channel. A lot more of these are going to be coming up. Uh, give, give me a thumbs up and maybe uh, leave me a little comment. So again, guys, thanks a lot for listening, and I hope it helped. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message or leave a comment. Take care.